All right, folks, the uh, Tennessee State Conference of the NAACP, they are suing the state controller on behalf of Mason, Tennessee. They're seeking a temporary injunction tomorrow to cease the financial takeover of that particular town. Uh, they're help, the NAACP is helping out this majority black town uh, file this lawsuit against Tennessee's controller claiming discriminatory practices. Last month, Tennessee controller Jason Mumpower said he was taking over the town's finances because of financial mismanagement and it has significant financial debts. Joining me now from Jackson, Tennessee, uh, is Gloria Sweet Love, president of the Tennessee State Conference of the NAACP. Gloria, glad to have you on the show. Uh, what is the, the um, uh, standing of the Tennessee State Conference of the NAACP in filing this lawsuit? Well, we are the premier uh, organization that believes in civil rights and social justice, uh, not only in Tennessee, but across the nation. We have been on the ground with the officials in Mason uh, since this uh, first happened. Uh, in this unprecedented move, uh, once Ford uh, announced that they were going to bring a $5.6 billion uh, plant to the area, and Mason is only about four and a half miles from that site, uh, there would definitely be uh, more business and more industry. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, in an unprecedented move, uh, Munpower sent, first of all, a letter to all of the uh, citizens of Mason trying to get them to surrender their charter. Of course, we showed up and say, don't surrender your charter. Of all the things you do, keep your charter uh, because uh, that gives you the power. Um, they He pushed forward to take over their finances, and we've said that we know that there is nothing in Tennessee Code annotated law at all that gives him that power to do that. So we're standing with Mason, uh, filing for some injunctive relief, and we are standing with Mason and asking people to support Mason as they pay back $250,000 that this administration did not cause uh, to be missing, but that happened in the previous all-white administration, but was actually passed down to this particular administration. And it certainly raises questions why the Comptroller did not actually take action against the city when it was run by white folks. Exactly. And the thing of it is, he does not have the authority to do that. Uh, you have to understand, this comptroller was, is a former uh, a speaker of the House of Representatives in Tennessee. Uh, he got uh, beat out for that seat. And now he felt like he could come and levy his power uh, over these people. But we say, no, no, uh, we're going to stand with them. We were rallying with them on Saturday. Uh, we are asking people to support them by giving to the cause and making sure that we pay back, they pay back this debt so that they can move forward and becoming the town that they really want to be because they love their town. And, you know, he has no authority to take it over. So uh, on that particular point, saying he doesn't have the authority, uh, and so, but according to the Comptroller, he does. So what does the Constitution say? Well, the, nowhere, our, our lawyers have looked uh, at Tennessee Code annotated throughout, and he does not. There's nothing that gives a comptroller authority to take over a town. Uh, the thing with him taking over the finances, uh, that's, that's what our lawsuit is about, to give us some injunctive relief to allow them to pay back. Uh, they've actually taken part of their CARES Act funds and paid back part of the money. So now they owe, still owe uh, an additional $250,000. Remember, uh, the current administration, uh, Mayor Gooden and Vice Mayor, uh, uh, Vice Mayor Rivers, and those all the person, they did not create this debt. This debt was created uh, in the administrations before them. No, he does not have the power to do it, and we believe a judge will side with us. All right, then. Well, look, that's taking place tomorrow. What time is the hearing tomorrow uh, in, in which city in Tennessee? It, it is in Nashville, and I think it is at 11 a.m. Uh, so you said 11 a.m., which city? Nashville, Tennessee, oh, in got the it. capital. All right, then. So we'll yes. certainly be uh, following up tomorrow to see what happens uh, in uh, that uh, court in Tennessee. Thanks a lot. Folks, Black Star Network is here. A real um, revolutionary right now. Wow. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all.
momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?